hi hope you're having an amazing day as you saw from the title of this video we're going to be doing my july shop my stash so this is basically where i keep all of my makeup for the month i'm going to lower the camera just a little bit so you guys can get more of an overview all right so in these four drawers is basically where i keep all my makeup this is all the makeup from the month of june so we're going to talk about it this month we're definitely going to go for more like purple kind of products whereas last month i was going for more pink as you're going to see later in this video so first off we're going to start off by talking about the makeup in these drawers we're going to talk did i use them did i not do i recommend do i not then we're going to come into my collection we're going to choose a bunch of purple makeup for the month of july and then we're going to come back and put everything back in the drawers so if you want to see my thoughts on all these products and the new picks for the new month just keep on watching <laughs> So I did go ahead and readjust the camera. You guys are just a little farther, but it's a little easier to show you guys what's going on. First drawer on the bottom, we have this product from Italy Deluxe, and this is their Miss Metal Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. This one here is in the shade um, Pink Boo, which is in a beautiful pink shade. I love this. I think I used this like mm, a handful of times, I believe. Really cute, really nice product. Next was the palette of the month, which was the Beauty Creations Yari Amue palette. You guys know, if you know, I've talked about this so much on my channel. Love this palette, girl. It's amazing. Literally comes with face palettes in here, uh, face palettes, face shades in here. Love the color story. You guys know everybody's been into the pink craze this month, and it was like the perfect kind of palette for me. And especially, I love that it has those everyday kind of tones as well love the blushes i think my favorite one out of the two is sagittarius it's just more on the pinky side the highlights are okay but yeah this palette overall was really nice definitely recommend and look at that cover girl it's stunning last month i had a total of two powders the first one is the wet and wild 501 essence powder this one here is a more like translucent kind of powder as you can see i already did hit pan like baby pan on this product i really love it i love it for like my under eyes not really fall over the face but it's still a really good product this one here i found is not as much of a, of a flavor as i thought this is the she glam love dive powder i am i don't know debating because i really like this powder however it's not a total favorite not as much as the last powder i talked about but i don't know i'm still gonna get you know use out of it this month kind of changed my mind about this product here and this one here is their love divine matte and love long wearing pressed powder from she glam we also have this glitz list she glam highlight you guys know i love this so it's amazing still in love with it we also had the metamorphosis bronzer which if you guys follow them they did switch up the packaging so it no longer looks like this it's like in a cute pink kind of packaging so cute but this is one that i own and this is their bronzer in the shade panda amazing product i honestly don't think i reach for it this month as much as i intended to but still really cute and still love the product itself so amazing we have the two be pure powders these are both little blushes from the dollar tree this one's definitely becoming a quick favorite it doesn't really disappear like there's more than like a spray over kind of vibe this one really disappointed me because it was very much sprayed over with red and i don't know i don't know how i feel about it now that it's just all like a light kind of powdery pink but it's still cute and i still reach for them a lot this month yari mua beauty creation setting spray you guys know me if you guys have been on my channel you guys know this is a favorite it smells amazing it smells like perfume like a body spray kind of vibe really enjoyed this throughout the month so yeah definite favorite then we have my elf halo glow beauty ones you guys know again if you guys know me you guys watch my videos you guys know these are definite favorites as well definitely reach for these i think the most out of everything that i picked out last month because these are just amazing so really love and definitely recommend these the city color concealer this is their full coverage flawless concealer in the shade medium two this one's also really nice you guys know this is a favorite as well i just didn't really reach for it this month for some reason i don't know i think i've been loving the timu concealer a lot more this month if you guys saw my favorites um but this one's cute as well so yeah but i have didn't really reach for it this month and this one is actually from timu but this is not the one that i was talking about the dnm concealer serum i don't know i guess because it's in a pump form didn't really reach for it this month for some reason but it's still a really good product next we have the wet n wild 501 essence primer this is actually another product i actually did reach for this month it was really nice it's definitely more on the liquidy almost like water vibe still reach for it especially during the summertime now that it's really hot this just feels so amazing on the skin it just gives you the hydration that your skin desires especially when it's super hot outside so i really did enjoy using this as well as the elf power grip primer another beauty this is actually a really good primer as well and timo actually came out with a dupe for this product which i do own so i'm gonna have to make a video 
video on those two but this is actually really good to adhere the foundation to your skin especially on these hot days so i really did enjoy these two primers together Let's see for this drawer we had the putty air full coverage long wear foundation to be honest i did not reach for this i think i used it in my like get ready with me using my shot my sash makeup but after that i didn't really touch it i don't know what it is i don't know if it's because it's a little too light for me and now that it's summer i'm getting a little bit of a tan i don't know what it was but i didn't really reach for this product however i really like the the wear and the longevity of it i just don't love the color so i think i might have to purchase it in a deeper shade now we're on to the last drawer we have the remy rose liquid lipstick this is actually such a beautiful formula you guys know i love remy rose they're so inexpensive i find my remy rose at the 99 cent store at the dollar tree this one here is in the shade christie it's like the most beautiful pink shade love it then we also have the nude lipstick from la colors in the shade oh teddy another beauty loved using this as i mentioned like i really did use a lot of my lip products this month the ColourPop glowing lip i used quite a few times as well this was from the muppets collection we had the plumping gloss from timu this was also another nice product in 04 really loved using this as well we also had the NYX Brow Glue I used a handful of times as well. It was really good. The Charlotte Tilbury Mini Pillow Talk Lipstick also used quite a handful of times. Surprisingly, I didn't use my Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick. This one here is in the shade Unicorn Blood. I've just been into wearing lipsticks this month. I don't know what it is, but this one's a really beautiful formula. Love reaching for it of, under other occasions when it's not so hot and my lips aren't already so dry. Um, but I don't know. Didn't reach for it this month. However, the ColourPop Luxe uh, Lip Oil was actually really nice as well especially for get ready with me's especially now that the barbie movie came out a lot of pink get ready with me's on my channel and this one here is in cosmic click so really loved this one we did have two mascaras this month we had the creme shop hello kitty mascara a stunning girl this is beautiful and they actually sell these at the miniso store so yeah get your hands on it girls so so beautiful and if you didn't notice my nails are actually karomi and um my melody themed so beautiful these are actually from the hot topic next mascara is the city color be batty mascara another nice mascara this is from the dollar tree a favorite you guys will see my favorites coming up i think this week such a good mascara and then we have a bunch of other kind of smaller products we had my eyebrow pencil from awa studio i didn't really touch this i've been into my slim brow this month for some reason but this is actually a really good one as well we had the awa studio beauty wing stamp liner such a good liner i'm surprised i didn't think i was going to be into it as much as i am but it's actually really good then we have the she glam lip liner this one here is from their so 90s lip liner set honestly forgot it was in here so i didn't really reach for that the elf h2o waterproof liner i don't even know if i picked this out last month honestly i don't remember i don't even know if it's actually in here but i don't know it's such an amazing liner but i don't remember picking it so i don't know why it's here then we have the uncommon cosmetics angled cat eyeliner so good then we have the Ebony York Auto Lip Liner. You guys know I love it. And lastly, we have the Ava Studio Gel Liner. And this one's actually so really nice. However, I did reach for the um, gel liner way more. All right, so now that that is empty, we're gonna go ahead and go into my collection. We're gonna pick out a bunch of purple makeup and then come back and put everything back. Let's go. So I already know one of the products I'm choosing is this Glam Light Hershey's Kisses Special Dark Eyeshadow Palette, which looks like so. How stunning are those colors? Yes. Oh, I definitely wanna pull the Perfusion Ethereal Palette. It comes with 20 colors and look at this packaging, girl. Stunning. Well, these colors are so, so beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and also throw this into the bag. So this is basically where all my setting sprays are living from now on. So basically they're just out and about. So I kind of, I don't have a purple setting spray. Um, I'm surprised, but I'm just going to go ahead and pull this Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray. What is this called? Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Let's just go ahead and acknowledge that I rearranged this little area. I have four of these little brat lip scrubs and lip masks. I have my little Barbie lip mask right here so beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and just pull from here before i forget we have my bronzers and everything i kind of want to pull the beauty creations bronzer in the shade down to earth it's not really like a purple kind of packaging but i just love this product so much so we're gonna go ahead and pull this then we have my blushes let's see what i want to pull this month as you can see i'm like really harboring la colors blushes i kind of want to stay with the same beauty creations theme so i'm going to pick this 
press blush in the shade vibing with you which is just a pinky kind of blush i'm kind of cheating i'm picking pink products but it is what it is so both of those are going into the basket then we have my highlights which i already kind of know what i want i think i'm gonna pick this one from timu looks like that it's very glittery though i'm just gonna stick with an oldie but goodie this she glam moonside highlight in the shade moon rose it's just such a beautiful color yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and pull this all right next we have my lip balm so we do have quite a few in here but kind of know what i want already i'm just gonna go ahead and pull the ellie colors lip gloss in mixed berries just because i want to use it up so i'm just gonna go ahead and throw this into the basket next we have my primer so for sure i'm gonna pull the malibu glitz smoothing primer you guys know this one is a favorite in the shade number two and I'm going to go ahead and pull the Major Digit Primer from Timu because I want to finish this up since it is almost out of here just so we can have, you know, an empty. It's always an accomplishment, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this as well. And if that primer runs out, I'm just going to go ahead and pull another one. Next, we have this drawer, which I do have two products that i really want to pull this month i'm just going to go ahead and pull both of them the l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundation as well as this um concealer from timo the um angela age rewind eraser concealer also a favorite so i'm gonna go ahead and pull both of those all right so next we have my lipsticks and my lip liners so all right so i do have these you can be lip liners which i hate that they don't have different kind of names on them because it's so hard to like open each one of them up and kind of see what colors they are but those are the colors that i went ahead and chose so i'm just going to pull these two lip liners for lipsticks i know there's a lipstick that's like purple vibes that i really enjoy it's this one from she glam you guys know i picked that out a couple um uploads back this one here is in the shade don't hesitate and it's just such a beautiful purpley vibe i'm just gonna go ahead and pull this so we are in this drawer i'm kind of looking for a purple lip gloss kind of hard to find this one is so beautiful from city color i always pull the same old lip gloss you guys see it right here from aoa studio it is purple i am gonna go ahead and pull this as well why not the candy pop lip gloss and this one here is in the shade bubble but i also want to pull this beauty right here from la colors this is our lip gloss in what shade are you dreamy pink so i'm gonna go ahead and pull these two we're gonna go ahead and pull the be bella Bramination brow set all right so i'm gonna go ahead and pull the aries for slim brow i've just been into it so much this month and also this one from i method which is from timu so i'm gonna go ahead and pull these two for the month i'm definitely gonna pick the elf big moon mascara you guys know this is a long time favorite so i'm just gonna go ahead and pull this then we have my face palettes which i'm kind of tempted to pull this palette from timu Do you guys know you guys have seen this before it looks like that i think i am gonna go ahead and just throw this into the running as well all right next we're in my liner drawer i kind of am eyeing this out which is the City Color Be Bold color liner in the shade purple. We have the Artista liquid liner in purple. Definitely gonna pull that. We also had a purple liner in here. I think I have this one from Ioni. Yeah, this one here in purple. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that. But I also want a black liner just to have in the running as well. This one here is actually from the Dollar Tree and I haven't really used it. This is the Le Mercier Midnight Black Liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this as well. The e.l.f. Waterproof Eyeliner. You guys know this is a favorite. Can't leave this behind. These are all the liners I'm pulling for this month. We have my fun drawer. So we do have this Be Bold Pigment from City Color. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that. We are gonna pull this glitter as well. This one here is from Itali Deluxe, the Glam Glitz Liquid Glitter as well. So I'm gonna pull these two. A liquid lipstick drawer. I love this liquid lipstick when I do like purple looks. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Candyman. Love this, I'm gonna go ahead and pull. Goodie in here. Ooh, this one looks beautiful from Mayway Studio. This is their Wonder Matte Lipstick in the shade T. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this as well. All right, next we're in my cream drawer. This is from the Shamase website. I think I'm gonna pull this, the Vintage Romance Creamy Bronzer. Also the blush, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Canal Bronzer and the Duchess blush. They're just so beautiful. I think I'm just gonna pull this Profusion Liquid Highlight in the shade Blossom. So we're at the end, we are at powders. I really love a lot of these powders. Um, you guys know which ones are my favorite. I literally talk about them all the time, but do i really want to reach for those i'm going to take the beauty creations loose powder here in the shade honey me like one favorite the she glam velvet oil control powder in the shade warm sand you guys know i love this can't leave it behind this is the last like palette face palette drawer we have a few like hidden gems in here like the mojo jojo palette i think i kind of want to pull this as well 
I'm just gonna go ahead and take this as well. All right, guys, so that is everything back in the drawer. The unfortunate thing is that the actual palette didn't fit. So I think I'm just going to have to leave it out somewhere. I don't know, maybe here. So don't forget to use it. But everything else looks so good. And in the next upload, you guys will see me throwing all of this makeup on my face. So definitely subscribe and stick around so you guys can see that. But it's going to be so exciting. I can't wait to do a purple look. We've been doing pink so often. I'm so excited for this. So if you want to see that again, stick around. And I'll see you guys on my next upload. I do have a whole playlist for my Shaw My Stash this year. It's going to be linked down below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Uh -huh.